You know, Odessa, I never realized I hated you this whole time. Why have I even been playing with you? Is it really that time, Odessa? Should I really replace you? I have squashed you like bug. Ugh, God damn it, man. If only there was a way I could change him. Huh, fancy that. Odessa, I've got a bone to pick with you. And I'll do it with this gun. I'm sorry to say, Odessa, but the time has come. You're being replaced. What? Saitama? Hey man, maybe we could talk about this? How's it going guys? Welcome back to another mini mod showcase and today we're going to take a look at the player model changer. This is going to be a weapon that lets you change the player model of people in your server. Also, you can do it to yourself. There's only one issue though and that is that it does not work with NPCs. So to go ahead and start, press the R key and then choose the player model you wish to become. Or, of course, the player model that you want to make your friends. So, for instance, what about Charpal on Vacation? Go ahead and press left click, and you're going to notice... It just completely vaporizes NPCs. So this could even be one of the most powerful admin guns we've seen, even though it's not even really trying to be. Now, how can you do this when there's no one in your server? Well, you can create a bot. And to do this, go ahead and do Start New Game, go over to Multiplayer, do a two-player or more game, and then start it up. Once you do that, go ahead and go into your console and type in, well, bot. And that's it. And then you will have a bot join your game. And you can do this to as many bots as you want, depending on how much slots you have. This is not going to act like a Zeta player. No, this is going to act like, well, pretty much a real player, but a bot. I mean, obviously, I don't need to explain what bots are. You guys know what they are. They're in almost every game that has a multiplayer setting. He's just going to walk around and do his thing, but he's going to be treated like a real... <clears throat> Alright then. He's going to be treated like a real player, which means that yes, we can use the PM changer on him once he gets out of the water. So for instance, we're going to go ahead and choose Barney here. He's Dr. Kleiner, obviously. Go ahead and transform, and now he is Barney. And we can do the same thing, of course, with this turning him into Charpal on vacation. All right, so this is all cool and everything, but what if you wanted to do it to yourself? Well, let's go into third person here so we can get a good look at exactly what this does. Once again, pressing the R key, we can go ahead and change. Let's, you know what? Let's go ahead and become... Aha! All right, so now instead of pressing left click, we're going to press right click first, aim the gun at our jaw, and then left click, and bada bing, bada boom, we are now the Drip Charpal, with of course the Necros videos end. So this mod kind of works as a double whammy. Not only do you get to have a strong weapon that can, well, theoretically destroy a lot of NPCs, you can also change the player model of your friends to just mess with them, but it even has some useful cases like, well, being able to change your own player model without having to kill yourself. So this is kind of a triple feature, I guess, if you will. Now we're going to go ahead and see how it works against some of the strongest NPCs. All right, let's go ahead and start with Mr. Saitama himself. He's got like 90 million health or some ridiculous stuff like that. Let's go ahead and shoot him and see what happens. And just like that, he is deleted. Wait, where'd that bot go? He's just chilling. He's on vacation. All right, next up, we got the Incredible Hulk. Let's go ahead and see how he does. And just like with the One Punch Man, he stood no chance. We're gonna go ahead and try World Breaker Hulk here. Has a ton of health, is super durable, but he does not survive. Okay, man, I gotta say, this kind of looks a little weird. I mean, I understand the blue ball, but why the why the white stuff? Time to go super meta. We have the Necros Videos NPC who we currently... Oh, well, no, I forgot we changed. Never mind, let's go ahead and see if we can change me. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh! It actually worked! Alright, next up we're gonna try our... Next up we're gonna try the man, the myth, the legend, Armstrong. Okay, well I should have expected that. I mean, the Necros Videos NPC is one of the most powerful NPCs. And also, it could just be that, yeah, this is just deleting the NPC, so it's not really all that crazy. But it's kind of a funny interaction considering it's not meant to be an admin gun or a powerful weapon. It's just meant to change someone's player model, but it kind of became a very powerful gun. 
All right, no more playing around. We got Minge God on deck. Let's see if he can survive being turned into a supposed player model. Okay. Hold up. We've got something going on here. All right, so I think it's safe to say Minge God is completely immune. <laughs> but, I mean, are you really surprised? I mean, we can't even delete the guy. So maybe you just want to change your player model whenever you wish or just completely annihilate some of the most powerful NPCs on the workshop. And maybe you just want to harass your friends and turn them into goofy player models that you have downloaded. But I'd love to hear what you guys do with this. Let me know down below. Hopefully this does not get infected with adware. I'm pretty sure it's not. It seems to be a pretty reputable mod creator. But again, I'd love to hear what you guys think down below. Leave a like, subscribe. Links are going to be down below. Check out my Discord to join in on the fun and to hang out with fellow Gmod players as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, farewell.